everybody, uh, Dusty from the Geode Guys here, just making a quick video to show what tools are needed and the process for cracking your own geode with a hammer and chisel. We get a lot of questions about, you know, what tools are needed, what's the process, uh, can we do it at home, etc. So hopefully this video will answer some of those questions. Uh, it's really simple. The main things I recommend to people to use if they're going to crack it at home to have the best chance of it going into two are of course, first and foremost, safety glasses. Safety first. Anybody who's directly involved in the cracking should have some form of safety glasses or safety goggles on. Secondly, of course, you'll need a hammer. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can just be a regular, you know, framing hammer or trim hammer or whatever. You don't need a mini sledge or anything crazy like that. Just a regular old hammer, whatever you have at home will do. Then even just a, a wood clamp will work in a pinch. The bigger the actual rubber grip part here, the better uh, hold you'll have on the geode while you're trying to crack it. But this is mainly to keep the geode in place while you're administering the hammer and chisel. I've got a little one here from Dremel that I basically use for absolutely nothing else, but I found out it happened to be handy for holding geodes in place. So I don't know if you wanna go this route, you can find one of these on Amazon. Um, and then the chisel part. It doesn't necessarily matter what kind of chisel you use or what brand or whatever, but I would recommend it be a masonry chisel because they're usually made of metal and a little bit stronger and their edges will hold a little bit better. Uh, this brand that I really like is Dasco Pro. And uh, especially if you're working or you're cracking the geodes with people that aren't used to swinging a hammer, the ones that come with this target guard here are a lifesaver, or I should say a hand saver. Um, because if, when your people are swinging and you're holding the chisel or even save their own hands while they're swinging it, if they happen to miss the head of the chisel, this will save your hand. Um, there's actually a link below for these particular chisels if you're interested in getting one of these. Even with the hand guard, I think they're only like 16 bucks or 18 bucks or whatever, awesome tool. Uh, I've got several different ones depending on what type of geode I'm cracking open. So if it's a really small geode or whatever, I might just use this little two inch chisel. Probably what I use most often is this guy here, which I think is a two and a half or three inch chisel. And then if I'm cracking open a jumbo, I've got this four inch masonry chisel here. So that's basically it. Um, those are all the tools. And now I'll talk about the process of where you wanna set it up and how you wanna start the process and gradually build up your force uh, hammering on the geode. Now to the fun part of actually cracking open the geode. So first thing I would recommend is um, put your geode, you wanna kinda of wanna do this on a harder surface that's not gonna transfer all your force into whatever it's sitting on. So for example, don't do, don't try and crack it on the grass or on a piece of wood or even in a vise because when you hit it with the hammer and chisel, that force is gonna go straight through the geode into the ground. Whereas if you got on something hard, it, uh, it won't give and hopefully it'll crack the geode open. So pretty simple, not rocket science here. <clears throat> you wanna have your score facing up towards you and in the middle there, not where it's holding um, being held with the clamps. And then the next thing that's, I guess, pretty important is once you've got it here in the score line, or if you don't have a score line, that's fine too. You'll just, you know, you're taking a little bit more of a chance, but uh, the wider your chisel is, closer to the diameter of the geo, the better chance you'll have of it going in two. But my tip is start soft and gradually get harder. If you just start immediately with a really strong hammer blow, yeah, it might crack, but it also might crack into three, four, or five pieces. Whereas if you'd start a little bit softer and only administered as much force was needed, the uh, minimum amount of force was needed might have went right in two for you. So we'll start soft. And we're gonna gradually get harder and harder. There we go. That's all it took. <clears throat> and most of the time when we uh, pre-score them, it really doesn't take that much to crack them open. And looks like a perfect crack into two. Ooh, nice.
nice amethyst. That's a nice example, huh? And you can see it cracked right along where our score line was. So that's the advantage of that. All right. Well, that's how you crack it with a hammer and chisel, folks. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, good luck at home. And like I said, if you want to find any of these tools, if you don't already have them at home, you can check out the links below. It'll take you right to it. And uh, yeah, happy cracking. If you get something cool, please uh, send us your video or pictures or whatever, or tag us on social media. I love to see it. All right.